my name is Yves Bordelot. I'm studio director of Cyanide Studio Montreal, Canada. And this is Empire. So here we have a little dialogue at the beginning of a scenario, which is a little bit along in the game. Um, one fun thing about that character is that he plugs in at almost every sentence you say uh, heavy metal reference from metal bands, especially 80s bands. <laughs> so uh, he's a quite, a, quite a goof and uh, your character, the little pimp here, there, uh, the dungeon lord, uh, sometimes just find him like so annoying. So I'm just gonna skip to uh, the actual uh, gameplay area right there. So I'm starting the, the, um, that stage. What I need to do is uh, to kidnap an archeologist to, um, to find a secret recipe. So I'm gonna summon some minions right now to help me do uh, a few tasks. Um, so I'm just gonna refresh it's here. Here we go, I just unlocked a tech point because uh, I uh, spent 2,000 vitality points. So I'm gonna construct rooms. Here I go to the building, um, the building menu. So I'm gonna construct a nursery. And then I'm gonna switch to the uh, control panel here. We have a, like an over, uh, overview of the, the whole dungeon with your units. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm assigning my minion so they can repair the, um, the rooms that were broken at the beginning of that scenario. So they are doing that little magic dance, a little bit like Fantasia in Disney. <laughs> um, and now I'm uh, building that room, the nursery right here. So bam. So I'm going to assign a minion right here so we can work in the nursery. So he's working right now. What can I do with him? I can summon, well, base units. units. So this is a berserker. So I'm spending five mushrooms. You have mushrooms and you have material as resources to create units. Um, also, when you gain tech points, you have a tech tree here and you can buy some upgrades for your dungeon and for your units. For now, I'm going to select uh, the Warlock, uh, which is uh, quite a good, um, good magic, uh, magic user, spellcaster, DPS type character. So to create the Warlock, I need to build the dive right here. I'm going to plug it here. So the little minions are going to go to the dive. Um, I need to go here, but there's like two raids waiting for me and they are quite high level, so I won't be able to uh, fight them only with my dungeon lord here. So what I need to do is to uh, build up a good squad to go against them. So I'll go to the management mode. Okay, my dive is getting built up. It's done. So I'm gonna assign a minion here and I'm gonna create a warlock. I don't have enough material to create two warlocks, so I'm gonna go back to the nursery and I'm gonna summon a few berserkers. So I'm gonna go here on the squad menu. And I'm gonna bring up a few guys here, bam. So I created my first squad. To uh, control them, you can either select them like that, uh, give them orders. And also um, what you can do is basically doing a shortcut like clicking on the special shortcut here to teleport them where you want. So I'm gonna grab um, that squad here and I'm gonna go fight these guys to get in the, um, the outside world because one of the, the good thing about um, being able to, uh, to work your way, way around your dungeon and exploring around it is that you can find some um, little portals like that to go outside on the surface. So, okay, so I'm gonna fight these rates. And what is your primary goal here? What are you trying to do? Is there uh, the main character uh, needs to evolve to uh, regain power over uh, well, to gain control of Ardenia. Basically, he's been summoned by Oscar and uh, he's been um, reduced to that little size of an imp. And he, he wants to regain his power to, be, uh, to become the, the lord of, uh, of Ardenia. That's his, uh, that's his motive. But right now, in that particular scenario, um, we uh, want to help, help out um, Oscar Van Fairweather, which is uh, the one that summoned you, uh, to get uh, the dust of broken hearts. It's a, a thing uh, specific to that scenario. So I'm going to the gameplay area, the battlefield, 
and I'm gonna fight against fight against these uh, these dwarves, which are pretty much uh, steampunk based uh, creatures. So I just got my dungeon lord got slain. Uh, he will respawn in a few uh, a few seconds. Actually, I'm gonna get beat up by that guy. Um, I'm just gonna go back to the control overview and I'm gonna have to create other characters and I'm gonna unlock that little guy here so I can summon oops I don't have enough mushrooms <laughs> nope <laughs> creating squads and I'm just gonna show you I'm um, the purpose of the, the first thing that you need to do here is like uh, I need to find an archaeologist to help me find the, the clues for the dust of broken heart in that scenario so I'm gonna send that squad into a raid which is the other mean to uh, to get to the, um, the outside world so basically I'm just gonna teleport them to the entrance of the dungeon go to the world map right here that's the dungeon and that's the archaeologist site the dig site so i'm going to assign my squad to send them there so you can have a look at what's in the site and like the, i have the uh, an enemy here uh, that's that is protecting the uh, archaeologist so since it's, we are really in pre pre alpha here uh, there's some assets that are min missing the archaeologist is not there is going to pop up in the dungeon afterwards but here you can see oops they just entered the area so i'm going to go straight there Whoops. so he has a big flamethrower and i just killed him oh that's fast uh we're aiming at q1 2013 thank you